Next 30 electronic typewriter memory, work spell. Uh, as you can see, it's not with any ink. That's because this machine is not working properly. It's my only electronic machine and for some reason, every time um, you hit, you turn it off or you open the hood, you close it, it quits working. It gives a ticking noise, uh, none of its buttons can be pushed. Not even the character turn, space bar, or caps lock it doesn't work. Nothing works when it happens. It just look, goes like in a trance or in a, in, a, in a coma, and you hear a ticking sound. And the motor underneath here gets very warm. Uh, it's now writing out that demo, so I get the feel from how long it's gonna work. But I don't know what's going on. As you can see, it's, I will explain that. Let me, here, let me just show you how it's not it's not tapping out nothing and I want to show you that it just keeps on working now but when I turn it off and then on again that it just uh, completely dies it's typing out the demo now that's uh, I think it's done yeah there's no type wheel in it a type wheel in it either no correction tape as you can see now a uh, daisy wheel, not in there. I know it's not really good for the hammer, but uh, I need to. Um, anyway, I can do that type, look. That all works. So it works now normally. But let me turn it off for you. And then on again. Oh wait, it has it sometimes, so I can't guarantee that Wait. Okay, pop the hood. And then close again. Oh, for some reason it works now, it does. But it has the problem that um, sometimes um, there's. Here, I'll show you. Because since it's now opened, I don't know if you can see it. Well, you can see little radars in there. Or radars, what do you call those? Uh, oh, they're in the small one caps. Maybe you can turn the night vision on. Maybe that helps. Yeah, kinda. It's not, it's not perfect. Anyway, there's a bit of radar work in there. And then, and the motor, but it seems like the motor is not getting enough electricity. Uh, why it's getting too weak and does not function properly. And that's why the motor underneath here, the other electricity divider, underneath the screen, there's one here, it gets very warm when it gets used. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on here because it's kind of worrying. Uh, this is my only electronic typewriter while I have, I have an, a mechanical one. An Olymp and a Smith Crown Electra 120 and uh, this is like my really electric uh, computer chip typewriter from 1989. I will do another shot about showing uh, the functions and all that and all that but uh, now I want to show you my problem uh, it does seem to work now but in case it quits working um, I would like to ask uh, some help it is just um, when you turn it on and nothing works you just hear a ticking noise so maybe yeah it works now for some reason or because I'm filming but when I'm used uh, and sometimes during typing it also just quits it just it just like somebody turned the power off and then on again and sometimes you turn the power on you only hear a ticking noise so I don't know what's going on with that and I'm going to figure that out uh, probably just when I shut this camera off it will just die on me again but I'm not sure uh, yeah, the mode I don't know if you can see it it's, there's a little motor underneath here and this is the uh, letter system, as you can see, there's supposed to be cartridge in here and daisy wheel in here. But uh, yeah, for some reason, it doesn't work now. Well, it does work now, but it I've trying to get it going for a while now, and for some reason, it works now. So yeah, it's kind of weird, but uh, I will figure it out. This is just probably maybe it. I don't know, maybe the, and the motor is worn and if that's the case I'll just have to uh, get rid of this one and buy a new one. 
Alright, I did a little bit of work on it. Um, I replaced the rib cartridge in there. And I can open it now for some reason because it does work temporarily, I think. I put in some correction tape. There's a daisy wheel in there, and I tried, and so far she is ready to type. Um, I will put it in a demo to show you how it works so far. So let's do that. That's code and line. Alright, I clearly inserted the the <laughs> the um, uh, daisy wheel in wrong, if you ask me, because this is not really. Let me just yeah, I, 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 let me put in the daisy wheel right. Well, then, all right, I don't know what was wrong with that because I, when I typed it works fine, but when I did the auto demo it didn't. So let me try again. Yeah, now it's working. Alright, as you can see here is the type results. Uh, this Daisy Wheel electronic typewriter is easy to use and has excellent print and correction quality. Features include built-in 4000 character storage memory with 9 files, built-in 60,000 word spelling dictionary, word spell alerts you to, type, uh, to your typing errors, 16 character LCD display for text editing, which is this LCD screen. Uh, word correction to erase the entire word with just one touch. Line out correction to erase an entire line with just one touch. 12 characters per second print speed. Automatic features such as automatic character turn, bold typing centering, right margin flush, underline dual pitch 10 and 12 characters per inch and it says thank you for taking me for a test type so there you go I'm still not satisfied that it's gonna work entirely because well I had some troubles with it but uh, so far I did, he did survive the test type so um, I might have to work a little bit on there but that was pretty exciting that I got it to work and just before the camera, I, I wasn't able to show you the mistake, but uh, I'm actually pretty happy that works now instead of showing you. <laughs> uh, let me show you, let me turn it off. And let me see if it still works when I do it. Yep, still functions. I bet something was jammed in there, so I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, this uh, machine comes with its user guide. 
And it's just electronic typewriter ZX30 butter. Um, it's an American machine, as you can see. It's this American. And uh, oh, <laughs> it's nice. When you open up, it says the uh, model number AX25. Uh, uh, serial number is K9691726464. Uh, and you have a whole bunch. This is a 50 page manual. So. It's pretty exciting, a whole bunch of stuff, which come out in handy, I would say. Here's a uh, star AI, you can do cassette daisy wheels, they have all kind. if you, like, you could collect these. These are the different kinds of types they had back then, and the price is pretty expensive, as you can see, they're all 24 to 95. I bet they're not for sale anymore now, but they are still fun. Uh, they have nylon ribbon and correctable film ribbon to pack. And a whole bunch of information, accessory uh, stuff is that. Um, I actually used the manual to put in the correction tape since it was kind of tricky on this machine. But Anyway, yeah, that's good to have. I'm going to save that. Um, and here we have a brother certificate for insurance and all that it says the date of purchase was December 1989 and then you have the, the uh, model number AX25 and then serial number K9691726464 and it's bought in Price Club Ventura, California so here's the warranty yeah um, I also have the cover So yeah, this is supposed to go in the hood after this came off when I was doing the ribbon, so I have to put that on that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I do probably still need some information about how to fix these kind of problems in case it happens again. So I hope you don't mind me asking. I'm going to clean up now because I'm already at 12.30 or 12.25 now and um, I only have a 15 minute limit on my YouTube. Uh, Alright, it's still plugged and I have to put it away later. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, thanks for the help you might have given me if you would. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I am looking forward to comments and ratings and I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my channel and uh, we'll see we uh, hear from each other soon. Bye! Oh yeah, one thing, um, I had uh, found out what the problem was with the bars on my Oliver, uh, how they were not realigned, and it was because of the um, gearbox in the back, uh, here are the gears for um, the caps and the figures, as you can see, that works over there, and I figured out that that had to be adjusted and uh, needed some work but apparently it got up working and the machine still doesn't work as you could see in a different video and yeah, there's gonna be some work but that won't be too much trouble I think um, I don't have too much light here it's pretty dark we're in a different room than I feel the other machine so well that'll be it folks see you later bye